The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Good morning on this Thursday, the 28th of June. I just wanted to show you something before we start. Uh, the S&P futures are down 15 at 4,403. The cash is down uh, at 43, uh, that is 64, down 14. All right. What we're really looking at here was a fascinating session yesterday. Look at the importance of this 200-period moving average right here, little with the dots. Look how it was a resistance at this peak E at 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, back on the, uh, this is the 23rd. And then it pulled back, pulled back, made a cup formation, couldn't get back to that 200 period moving average, then started brand new with two little doji candles and went started a brand new ABC, failed a little bit at the 200 period moving average. But this time it spent seven sessions trying to break out, which it finally did. Gave a chapter with instant restart and then continued higher sequentially Peak EFG. What am I looking at? I'm looking at the one minute, uh, sorry, the 10 minute E mini contract, uh, SP. And then what happened is gave a little doji candle right here, signed at about two o'clock that it was starting to stall, but it still had one flourish going almost the four, to the four o'clock high. So I always talk about two click sessions. If one was able to get the pullback and not be stopped out, um, that was the low of 43.74.50. At that 1020, remember 1020, I always say starts the next sequence of, of the daily um, quartet or quintile of the different segments. Um, if, if, it survive, if you survive that, you're able just to walk the nine period moving average. In fact, you're going to stay there right up until you were taken out at 450. Uh, that was 450 last night, Eastern time, um, at about uh, 4415. I mean, not bad, right? This is, uh, this is uh, just walking the nine period moving average. And this particular instance, 4380 was a low. So um, it doesn't sound like all that much, but believe me, when you're in it, it feels really, it, it feels like, wow, I know exactly where my cushion is. I know where, where the limits are, where it's starting to falter using the MACD and the stochastic. Everything's fantastic, but there's this one technical indicator that I use that is able to keep you, not every time, but a lot of times, it just keeps you in that trade a lot longer than your emotions and anything else could, could do. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to mention that. And then I was thinking, wouldn't that be a great opportunity right there to actually switch to the short position? I never did anything like that. I was just looking at it. It was just, I, I've just had a slew of things that I've had to uh, get done. So it's been limited in that in that sense. But then we went sideways, look in the long rectangle formation, which says if you break out above it, be careful because if you take out halfway of the long rectangle formation support, you're going to break the level of the rectangle low and probably go much lower before trying to bounce back in. And that's where the real test says, ah, we don't, we don't want you back here. Goodbye, goodbye. Or, hey, we missed you. Stay around a little while. And this particular instance is being repelled. And what's really important at this particular time, being hit four out of 10 minute bars in a row, that's 40 minutes back to the 200 period moving average. So, you know, you just you set these things up and then you try to use them as guidelines. It's like the markers on the road. You know, yes, yellow light, green light, red light, yield, whatever it is. So these are your little markers. And at this particular point, it's really struggling, down 15.25. Um, I, I don't want to go on with that. Let me just move on to the next thing, which will be uh, looking at the TLT. So for quite some time, in fact, I'm not going to say quite some time. I'm going to say for over a year, I've been talking about bonds are telling me and yields are telling me that they are just stuck in a range that they are not the issue at this at this particular time, meaning every time I said it at this particular time, and I'm saying it again, at this particular time, I don't think yields are the issue. However, 
This is the iShares 20-year Treasury bond ETF. Look at this weekly chart, how that pink nine-period moving average has just been an incredible barrier for months. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven months. It, it might break on the upside intra-month, but it never closed above. But look what it's doing. It's also starting to make a little bit higher highs, high, lower lower highs, sorry, higher lows, and making lower highs and higher lows, all right? And the MACD is really close to finally turning up. It hasn't done that yet. So I'm not ignoring the fact that at this particular stage, this H pattern that goes to an M pattern, and with a much smaller one, I'm watching to see if all of a sudden, we either take out the 1999 to 98 key support area in the TLT, or if there's a sudden move above the rectangle horizontal line, which says suddenly you're trading at the 105 area, 105, maybe even back to 106. I don't know. All I can say is that for a long time, we've been looking at sideways action in, in yields. So I'm eliminating that as one source. Looking at the XLF, this is the financials. Uh, it looks almost like the same thing. Dreaded H, lowercase h goes to a lowercase m. You could even make this just a very large H. I like to split them in two sometimes and then just say, okay, really just one big H pattern. <clears throat> Making high highs and higher lows. That's good. That's the financials. But wow, what a lousy chart. A big gap down from the 200 period moving average in the daily at peak F. Whoops, I forgot to put down a down arrow. It's in a sell mode right now. And as we speak, the day is young. But as we speak, that S has appeared, which says that we might see a sell signal um, upgrade to a sell mode as the nine period crosses negatively. And we're going to see that very soon. Okay, I want to do KRE. KRE is the regionals. Also, not a very good chart pattern. Actually, it was looking a little bit better than the XLF as we were long for a short while, took a tiny little profit, got out of it and said, ah, not for us, not yet. But look at this weekly chart and look at the monthly chart. I, there's, there's a lot going on. And at this particular time, the lot going on is telling me that in a sense, what we've got to be looking at here is how's the rotation going? Well, PAVE is the ETF that is covers infrastructure and developments. Uh, de yeah. Infrastructure and developments. And we're making possible PE right here. It's been fantastic. Look at this. I'm calling this a leg C because we haven't taken out the starting point um, of the up move which was way down the 22 area, this could become a G. In fact, I need to do it because that's my rule of thumb, is that if you haven't taken out the left side low, keep it could keep active a wave count that just says go sequentially, don't get carried away, just make it as easy as possible, but consider that there could be a G that was at previous peak F at 30.30 .30 back on the uh, a week of March the 3rd of this year. Uh, at at 30, 30, it pulls back to the 26s, and now it's trading at 30.82 pennies from an all-time high. I mean, that's really quite remarkable, right? Okay, Home Builders, we spoke about this yesterday. Cole Brothers, still another high. Unbelievable, a new all-time high. And that speaks to the shortage. It speaks to, to, to my, my group um, that says, hey, we were fortunate enough to buy a real estate um, at a very, very, very much lower prices. Now, where do we move if we sell? I mean, what do we do? We, we, I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Down 137. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait. This sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. 
The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So I'll go on all the other indices in a moment, but I want, I want to get to a couple of questions so I don't run out of time. A, trough A, trough B, trough C, trough D. Nice bounce. So we're looking at Arrowhead Pharma in the biotech area. Um, 36.52, up 43. Let's see what it says here. Basil, please review ARWR. They've been making news lately and, in my opinion, have an imminent partnership announcement coming within days on their must DUX4. Stock is right at a key level where it, uh, where if or when it breaks over 36.80. Why, wow, isn't that interesting? I was, I was not even looking at the price. I was just looking at the pattern. I'm, I'm shocked to see. <coughs> I sneeze. Shocked to see that price is actually at 36. It looked to me like it had the characteristics of a of a of a, a teenager. Um, and stock is right at the key level. We if and when it breaks over 3680 area, I see 40 to 50 test. Then likely the 50s, and of course uh, Dan in the Dan does really good work looking at biotechs and other things, but especially biotechs. Um, yeah, looking out. I would, I would just say that there's a potential cup formation in the monthly chart and that the high that I'd be looking at as really uh, imminent uh, in terms of a rally off this little triple top that we're seeing right now, if it can break uh, 30, it's not that, that I want to look at, it's this one here. If it can break 38, yes, I think you're right, 30, uh, Okay, 38. Oh, is that an 30? Oh, I'm moving this around. That's what it is. Um, I didn't realize. 38.55. I, yeah, 38.55. In between. Now, in other words, this long wick right here, if it can start to trade for about 90 minutes, any session in the next couple of weeks, any session, if it can trade at 37.55 and hold that steady for about 90 minutes, I pr prefer, uh, you know, over 220 minute bars. But anyway, 90 minutes to 120 minutes, I think there's a chance that could have a, a sudden spike 
up to the high of that 36.55 area. So that's the big thing. And here we are at 36.74, the high today, trading up 48 cents to 36.56. Now, the reason why I make that key is because you know what I normally do? I grab the outer ends and I say, hey, I'm going bumping up against the Grand Canyon left side right there. And I'm just saying that looks to me like a potential lopsided gravy cup. But look, it's made within that. It's made a U, w, a U that goes to a W, like the lowercase h goes to a lowercase m. This is the U that goes to the Y that goes to a little double W pattern. So that's really important as far as I can tell, because I've seen for the first two sessions um, in a while, that's today. And because it happened yesterday, I can talk about it. The nine period moving average has moved over the green. The MACD is just barely, it's really unchanged. It's just fractionally higher. The stochastic is very weak at 47. On balance volumes are rounding, but really not doing very much. So it's the power of the push above this 200 period moving average, which has been a magnet. That's the reason, uh, another reason, I should say, that's the reason. I didn't see that until now. But that's another reason to say that if it can hold at 33. I said 30, 30, above 33.55 for at least part of a day. Then there's a real, look, all of that resistance is gone. And then you go to the next level and, re, and it's just a wick that went up there. So I like I like what you're talking about. But the magnet of the 200 period moving average of 35.16 cannot be ignored. Look how it's dragged the price back every single time it's gotten above. It's dragged it back to test at least the nine period exponential moving average. I like your reasoning. And yeah, I'm going to say something else, which says that I probably could have taken 30 seconds instead of blah, blah, blabbing for what, three, four, five minutes. It's a biotech stock. If there is any news that's even remotely positive or that could be read as being positive, you'll get that spike. You'll get that gap up. And then what this does, this is we've seen this in this stock so many times, it gaps, gaps, gaps sometimes. And then it gives it almost all back. But this one, it hasn't. That gap from the 24th of April, high of 31.19, to the next day, screams up to a low of 33.44. This is the gap. The nearest we've gotten to is 32 something, 32.30 on the 30th of May. I love to look at these patterns and say, what is the character? What is it telling me? What well, is telling me two things? One is, forget about all this talk about uh, upside, downside. It's going to move if there's anything that's remotely positive because it's got a very strong base in the 34s. That's number one. Number two, and make it as simple as possible, the weekly chart had that huge move up, gave back about 50%, but for four weeks now has been steadily trying to break above and hold the nine period moving average as key support. It's walking the nine EMA and the black 14 period moving average of 34 point, 34 point. I've got to be careful that O could turn out to be an 8. And uh, it's a 3. 34, oh, no, it's 34.66. 34.66. So I like it. Yeah, I think it's doing very well. And if by tomorrow, it's really important to us Thursday. No, if at Friday's close, it's had some kind of a pullback, but it ignored the pullback and it went to higher highs today and a higher high tomorrow, that's the kind of action you want. So I'm pleased I looked at this because there are a number of stocks that have almost the same pattern, but the veracity, the strength, I'm going to write this down, ARWR at 36.02 over 30, was that 37.55? What did I say? Uh, yeah, over 37. Over 30.70.55. Boom. <laughs> just made a note. Okay, so we've done that one. Our next question is, uh, let me just go through this very slowly. Okay. Uh, yeah, the partnership news. Okay, very good. Um, okay. So I, I like what I'm seeing in terms of uh, the rotation and the fact that the S&P, let me just go, now I can go through everything. Look, INDU. Okay, I've got a couple of questions. I better get to them. I'll write them down. Just let me write them down. Okay. Uh, what was that? HYG. Yep, I'll look at that for GT. 
Uh, another one was uh, Apple. Yep, I'll have a look at Apple, Amazon. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, Costco. Very good. Okay, there we go. Um, so the Dow's down 143. You see the nine-period moving average is getting closer and closer to turning negative. I think it's going to turn negative, but you don't underestimate the strength of that nine if it's holding green. When it turns pink, watch out. But the weekly chart to say, yeah, what are you worrying about? Well, we'll see. S&P. So I made this very clear. A close below 33,590 would say, uh-oh, we're going to go down. Doesn't tell you how deep. We'll talk about that in a moment. The S&P, a close trading right now, down nine. A close below, I'd have to say 43. This is the cash. Below 43.25, says we're going to go quite a bit low. QQQs, any close in the next week, well, it's holding very nicely. I'll be back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019 finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. I can't even remember where I was. Let me just go through what I had written down. So um, let me just do this. HYG, HYG, J and K is what I usually look at. Not the, uh, oh, I used to have a totally notated for years and years and years. Um, this is the junk bonds. Look at this, peak A, peak B, it makes, it makes a C. It could almost be a C1, C2. So it goes from, this is Jane K's the symbol, and what is the exact title? It's called 
uh, Bloomberg Spider Bloomberg high yield bond. So it makes the low back in March of 2020 at 83.18. Let me just type that in right here. 83. Oops, 83.13, and it makes a peak A. I don't want to go through it now. Just it takes a little too much time. It makes a peak C, and if I'm correct, it just missed it. So it's a C1, C2 right here, and then it drops sharp. I know that you asked me about HYG, but they they both do the same thing. That's high grade. Uh, that's uh, what is that? HYG is called. Uh, this is the iShares, iBox, dollar high yield core bond. ETF, so I don't know what it is. They've got this tiny little print here. Well, maybe it's my eyes. J and K. Uh, J and K. So, yeah, makes this double top and it comes back down. You remember 83.13 and it goes all the way to, oh, I guess I'm going to have to do this. And it goes all the way to right there. It goes to 110 .10. Then 110.05, and then 110.14. No, I remember this now. It's come back to me. I thought it was a double top, and when I went through it, it turned out that it was a peak C, and then it was a peak D. You're always looking for D, the fourth highest peak in the Chapel Bay methodology. That's when other things can happen. And lo and behold, we made a top, and it plunged. And it came all the way down to the 86, 87 area. Wow. I mean, so it made a top at 100 and what did I say, 110 and 14, 110, 14. Isn't that something, 110, 14? I mean, these are bonds. This is not a stock, acting like a stock. And then it plunges, comes down to the 86 area. It's above the left side um, low. Now, what's really important, this is a peak A. So all I can say is that as I look at this right now, it's a real struggle for the junk bonds to get any traction to the upside. They get traction for a little while. It did for the weekly chart. That was quite impressive. I remember this move. I remember it going to a peak D or an E. Let me just A. Is that the low? Yep, we go back enough to see that you've got the, the perfect low. C, and when you're doing it in retrospect, there's no excuse for missing it because you've got it there in print. If you have to look at tomorrow's action, or the next minute's action, that's different. But this is already fixed in limestone. Here we go. And we're pulling back. Made the H pattern. Now it's a lowercase H, almost like a right shoulder. But it's holding steady if you want. You could just say, you know what? This has been trapped between that level and that level for look how long. It's just stuck in the range, all right? So, yes, all I can say is it made a peak A, B, C, D, E in the daily chart. It's pulling back. But it's not failing. And the technicals are kind of sporadically good and sporadically bad. But I just think it's stuck in the range. So that's my, I said that earlier on, the TLT. So let's get out of this. The reason how we got into this is I wanted to do it because I wanted to put it together with something like the Toll Brothers. So the question is, for a lot, I don't mean a lot, just mean like uh, in your neighborhood, the 10 or 15 people. I suspect, I'm in Newton, Massachusetts, uh, uh, this is called the Garden State or Garden Town or Garden City or something. Um, all I can say is that I could name just of the, just like this. Uh, I, I, I don't necessarily have to be great friends or anything. I just know these people. I've spoken to at least 30 people in the last year in this area, and a majority of them have said, you know, for a long time, we've just been the two of us. We would like to go to something that is just simpler for us, but to sell our house at this price, even though it's way above what we originally paid for it, we're just going to put that money right into something smaller with a lot, a lot less than we have now. Uh, yes, it'll be simpler, and that's what we have to think of, but we might even have to pay money to do that with the way prices are these days for maybe a three bedroom or two bedroom with a study. So you can have your family over. When you... So this is, that's the reason why the houses haven't been turning over and they won't turn over until there's a really decent alternative. If somebody came up with something that said, Hey, I'm going to give you a view. I'm going to give you at least three bedrooms. Maybe even some people would want three bedrooms and, an, and a study. Um, uh, it, 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 
not every you wouldn't have that big garden that you had you wouldn't have all the stuff you wouldn't have the shoveling you wouldn't have all, the the roof or the repair of the air conditioner you the whole the whole air conditioner unit that just suddenly happens every once in a while it's just a different thing altogether and it's but it's a different mentality so the but the basic is that you are going to take what you've got and you're going to buy something for not that much less than what you're going to get for the much appreciated house. And that's what I think is the issue. And there isn't that much on the market. And when it is on the market, um, it, it gets taken quite quickly. So I think Toll Brothers, we're looking at at an all-time high as we speak, kind of reflects. I think Toll Brothers is the higher end. I might be wrong. Uh, I, Tom will be able to speak much more to that if he ever gets to talk about what Toll Brothers does. Um, I think periodically he does, but I believe we're looking at a home builder that does more more the higher end, and it's at an all-time high. You know, that's reflecting a bunch of things. I don't want to go into that right now because we can limit the time. So, yes, Toll Brothers acting very well, and that obviously in this category is helping the HGX, which is the um, iShares. This is the, whoa, 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 what happened? Oh, oh, I must close that out. There are. That is the Philadelphia Housing Index, right there. The housing Sector Index, gone to a leg C with a Chapman Wave overlapping wave. And this should, in the monthly chart, go to a leg D in 2023. Isn't that? And here's the leg D in the daily, leg G slash B in the weekly. It is so, by I, my eye says, oh, this looks so, it's almost vertical. Oh, but wait a minute. A vertical stock can con continue going vertical, number one. Number two is the MACD is good. The stochastic's flat at 92%. Um, the relative strength is at a high right here, um, even higher than it was back in uh, May, where it was doing so well. So all, all the technicals are confirming the nine is way above the 40. So for us to get a smash, the reason why I didn't want to get go overboard to look at the short side at all, um, and we are still short the uh, S&P, but uh, we're making this stop really tight. Uh, we're, we're looking at strength in, in course cyclical. This is, this is housing is cyclical. All right. So I want you to get that out of the way. Next question was, oh, what kind of handwriting is that? How am I supposed to see what you just wrote? Um, oh, Costco. Costco trading right. What is that type of Something happened. Don't tell me. Okay, there it is. Costco. C O S T. Wow, look at that. Uh, a nice recovery high. Trading at 5.30, up 26 cents. This is a leg E. I'm calling it for now. Leg E in the weekly. Um, I'll be back. That was down 115. SPs unchanged. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, 
Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So I don't really have time right now because there's so many questions that I had. Um, so this is the one minute chart. Look, it may load about 40, just under 4,400 in the one minute chart of the S&P E-mini. It goes to peak A, peak B. Look, green, nine period moving average, holes, holes, holes. And then you get two uh, bars with um, parallel highs. And then you get another two bars with parallel highs. And what I like to do is to say, okay, I want to be ahead of the game. I'm calling one of these a phantom peak, peak C, and then I, t I change the color, or you can make it a small C, just whatever, make a note in your mind. This is not a real peak C, it's a phantom peak C because it trades in 25 cent increments, and then you get to your D. So I'm already saying, okay, I've raised, I, actually I have no position right now, but normally what I do is say, I'm raising the stop, I'm taking something off, uh, because if I'm waiting for that peak C to come, and the MACD is starting to turn down, still very good, but the on-balance volume gave you a vicious turnaround. Stochastic's now at 86%, still all very good, but I'm just being ready that this could turn down. But wait a minute, the, the, the 100, uh, this is the 10 minute chart, started a brand new break to the upside. I have no choice now to put this as an up arrow and say that we're in leg B, this should pull back, and then somehow it doesn't tell you how high, but it should go to higher highs, to a leg C and D in the 10-minute chart, because this is a buy mode with a stochastic at 86% in the 10-minute chart, and the and the uh, nine period moving cross uh, crossing positive. So we'll see what happens. This one I'm expecting a bit of a pullback for the one-minute chart. Watching that 10. All right, let's get out of this. See if we can apply the same techniques here. Uh, Costco holding very well, made a U-shaped pattern, double top. Hasn't closed above the high that was made right here on the doji candle of the 15th. The doji is like a plus sign, just a very small candle. It can have long legs, but it's really st opens and closes at the same price. And now what we're looking at is at 5.11, 5 5.31.26. Let me see. Let me put the glasses on and see if there's any difference at all. Uh, and let's see what that says. 5. 31.26, it does make a difference. Oh, okay, good. Now I know I can start wearing them again. I don't wear them too often, but I do wear them. They're back to where my eyes were when I was 15 years old, but a lot's happened since then, I would say. And look, here it is at 530.75. This is so important to me to see Costco holding so well. Look at the steady move up in the uh, weekly chart, leg E, but under the previous major high of uh, that was back in... The week of the 2nd of Jan of December of 2022, 542.58. And wait a minute, look at this. What, what have we got here? We've got, um, 
I want you to put it together to say, if you look at Target, well, they, they're different companies. Target's got the, exactly the opposite pattern. It's made instead of the cup formation, this has got the lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m, breaks the low, and it's pulled back really sharply. 268 was the November 2021 high, and here we are in the 132 area. So it's really, you've got to be so selective here. Even in the, um, look, NVIDIA, NVIDIA's holding really well. It was down 17 points at some point today. Now it's down three at 415.66. That, that goes for advanced micro devices, mm -mm. holding steady, but none of them are now in the, in the, uh, this is the S&P. No, this is SMH as a semiconductor ETF. What we're looking at is Micron, which is a really good company, having a good day today. But this is not a great look, peak F and gaps down. It hasn't ever filled the gap. If you go to Marvell, another very good company in that sector, um, sideways action, holding very well. So it's all selective. Look at this, General Electric. Very nice move today. That goes together with the cyclicals, with PAVE, with, with the builders. What's BLDR doing? Builder, oh, all-time high as we speak. It went to 135.99. Why didn't it give me a round number high? 134.13 right now, up 65 cents. Uh, this is Builders First Resources, Inc. Building Materials man Manufacturer Components. Man, all-time high monthly. This is... What a diverse, well, you know, bifurcated is not the way it's really trifurcated because there's so many different sectors here. Okay, here's the other thing I want to look at. A uh, question came, Amazon, here we go. Amazon, almost at a new recovery high, uh, up $1.93 at 131.15, uh, leg C in the weekly chart. And that's what I'm saying. That's one of the reasons why I don't want to get overly bearish, but selectively we can say there's a chance that we are looking at a rotation that says some of the sectors, actually some of the sectors that we're doing, I wonder what this is doing. What's that stock? Oh, AI. I haven't looked at that for a day or so. Ah, AI is having a very nice move up today, 243 at 35.79. This is uh, C3.AI Inc., obviously in the AI area. 183.90 was the opening. Opening was 100, goes to 183.90 in December of 2020, that same month. And then it has a little bit of a tumble. And a little tumble takes it down to, what was the low right there? I think it was that. Uh, here we go. Down to 10.16. No, I think it went even lower than that. This must have been lower than that, surely. No, 10.16. Uh, don't be slow. Yeah, 10.16. Let me put that down. So 10.16 is up 300% uh, or more. Uh and it's in that area. It's a spectacular move up to the 48, maybe 49 area, pull back sharply, held the 50 period moving average, and now it's trying to go from pink, nine period moving average uh, negative, to maybe turn up again. I don't know. Are the AI stocks going to be coming back? Uh, we'll see. So, this is what I'm saying that we've got to be very selective uh, within that context. What did I say? Oh, hack. I want to look at hack, which is the uh, cybersecurity ETF. Prime Cyber Security ETF. Uh, nice move up today. Made a peak F. Is this going to be a, a head and shoulders pattern? I'm not sure. But I am expecting that in the Dow that we have a bounce. And at some point we make this H pattern. Uh, that's what I'm I, This is my, if I'm looking at the charts, this is the pattern that I would anticipate will unfold if, the high that was made at 34,588 had a thousand point decline, then it bounced a little bit yesterday. If that weakness that I'm seeing in the nine period moving average, which is strong right now, but the weakness that I've seen because it's coming down together with the 14 period moving average, if that crosses negatively, that's the pattern I'm looking at. We can have a leg B, and then I'm going to look at this completely different. I'm going to say, hey, that's good. And that's the reason why we've kept our core long position from October. We've been at trading positions in between, up and down. I didn't want to go short the, the Dow, um, but we've chosen the S&P. Uh, and we might be taken out in that S&P. Will the tight stop? We'll see. Let the market tell me. Okay, the other thing I was looking at here was... Uh, down. Oh, Jet Blue. Anybody trying to get a ticket somewhere lately? 
It's unbelievable. Prices are certainly going to this long weekend are like 40% higher than they were just recently. Uh, Jet Blue, uh, up six cents at 8.82. Tell me this isn't a, a good sign. Jet Blue Airlines, very nice. Jet Blue. I'll be back. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So remember, buy signal to buy, upgrade your buy mode in the Chapman methodology should take you to at least a leg D. So when I said we we're looking at the 10 minute chart made of a leg B, it should make a peak in then a C. We've just started that C and the magnitude's increased and stochastics at 91% of the 10 minute chart. But you remember what I said, that I use the phantom peak and very often the phantom peak is used, but you still get to that D somehow or other. Well, look at this, there's your D, but all the technicals are still holding very well. So that C doesn't have to be pink anymore, red. I can just change it back to blue, but I don't. I usually keep it there to say, hey, you used that before, and now what's the story? The story is telling me that we're in this little bit of a digestive phase right here. So I just want to show you live what we do for subscribers. Uh, uh, this is the same technique that I've used. That's what I wanted to say. So in this particular instance, suddenly coming alive, 
of the uh, these of the stocks that I mentioned before that were in the AI space. Uh, CXI mentioned the den sound sound hound AI. I believe A shares. I I say, I've typed this in. It connects any voice enabled product. That's what I wrote. I did once at eighteen fourteen when it came out as IPO back in May to uh, twenty twenty two. Then it plummets down to the uh, in, into the single digits. It, it actually went down to we go down to one dollar ninety three cents. So this is running this nice PK B. C, D, and now quick E. So we'll see if that holds all the way through to uh, Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. All right, have a great day. Stay tuned for Steve Roach. It'll be a wonderful program today with him as always. Great programming here at TF. And then check out my opening for, oh, Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars. Check it out.